Right, Russ Abbott Show. Russ Abbott Summer Mad Madhouse. No, no, I don't want that. 86, 85, right? Right? Oh, gee, it's just so risky. It is so risky playing anything before 2020. Anything, anything, really. 80s, 70s. I mean, really, you've got it, you've got it. Anything fucking goes. And fucking goes here. Right, here we go. We're not watching this whole thing. Oh, we've got hot spots. Hot spot, oh, that's a... What was that? What's that? Oh, oh, oh! See you, Jimmy! Good morning! And speak to our great special guest. And he's a great friend of mine, a clansman, a great sportsman from up north, but a snot of the border. Well, I welcome champion dark distance sportsman, Jockey Shorts. Oh, come in, Jockey. Oh, yeah. I think he's meant to be Jockey Wilson. I see you, Jimmy. I see you, Jockey. I see you, sir. See, see you. Then I can't ask you to do this anyway. Here, I'm having a pedic, sir. You're like Farry Gunny, Gunny, and you're Quenny. What's that you see? He <laughs> doesn't have to start him. <laughs> He doesn't understand him. <laughs> he fucking he fucking jocks. They don't understand each other. Where the axe, the wind blow out of your little west. What did I was, what did you see? See, you don't get to the colors of the way you're going to say. He's a pair of stores from a big reward horse. Oh, I saw we with you. I heard you had a big drink and a push of our current. I started with you. Yeah. Yeah. It's strange, I couldn't understand a word he said. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can't understand a word he said? What about you? Now, for all you people who've got problems at home, we go direct to our agony aunt. And who better to answer your problems than our lovely Claire Pena? <laughs> well, we got a letter here from. You might be wondering, some of you folk down south might be wondering, so what was it like? What was it like seeing that sort of thing in the tell of you being Scottish and seeing that? We absolutely loved it. It's basically the only representation we had on the telly back then. Take what you take what you can. You take what you can. Precision thanks to Tuna Bits. And only fools and horses do you prefer Grandad Trot or, or Uncle Albert. Uh, I liked Uncle Albert, but I did like uh, Grandad just feeling like just fucking clueless in that voice. Ash, thanks to sub. Aussie here, your Aussie accent is po on point, Lemmy. Thank you very much. With this one here, get a spot. Hey, it's bloody an Australian. Quiet dog, thanks to three quid. Congrats on 18 years sober. I'm at three and I just did a music festival abroad, which is hard as fuck at times. Glad I got through it. Well fucking done. One day at a time, one boring, boring day at a time. Glendigans, the man called Nova, thanks to subs. Thanks. Right, let's see, let's see the first, the opening. That's 1985. Let's see the opening. Um, that's a be opening. Like. Two minutes. So this actually includes the song All Night Holiday. Yes, man. VHS. Of course, my uncle Jack 
Your Uncle Jack. Yeah. My Uncle Jack, he was a sportsman. Was he? Yeah. He sort of, uh, he did a hundred yard dash in ten seconds. Get away. Yeah. How'd you do that? He fell down the left shaft. <laughs> Yes. Down the way. Oh, that's his normal hair. See, he's actually quite uh, bald. I used to walk with a cunt. I used to walk with a cunt who was the fucking double of him. Back when I was a Flash developer, but 1989, the fucking double of him. I wonder if I could look him up. What was his name again? He used to make music and all. He was a... Database sort of guy, back end kind of database, server side, all that kind of thing. Was he? He did that. He did some other thing. Techie, you know, you know that kind of side of things. He fucking dumb. Oh, I know his. I know his name. Here, I wonder if I could find him. Give me a second. Did he move away? Did he not fucking emigrate? Let me see. No, he... He started a restaurant. Is that... No, no, no. No, no. It's bringing up some fucking American guy. Right, anyway. Right, let's watch this. This is good quality, right? Ninety. Oh, it's Les Dennis and Dustin G. He's dead. Let um nineteen eighty five, June nineteen eighty five, so I would have been ten. I was ten. Russ Abbott, thanks for gifting that sub. Buddy Funstall, thanks for the sub. Thank you very much. Enjoy sitting in your ass there. Married now, eh? Yes. Off on honeymoon. <laughs> we're going to Newcastle. It's all right. We're married. You can go a bit further. Yeah. yeah. All right. We're going to Glasgow. Oh. Is Glasgow getting a mention? He, he, he put his horn on her knee. He says, it's all right. We're married now. You can go a bit further. Meaning sexually. Like, while you're driving, don't worry you can, you know, you can do it, know that we're married, you can do sexual things to us while we're fucking driving, but it's Glasgow get mentioned. It's all right. Yes. Off on honeymoon. Ooh. We're going to Newcastle. It's all right, we're married, you can go a bit further. Yeah. yeah. That, it, I'll, it, Disney, they've no sold it. I mean, what are they saying? We'll fucking put, put your horn up my skirt while you're fucking driving? Is that what she's saying? Right there and then. They don't sell that joke. They don't sell it. She, yes, she looks down at the horn, he's doing that, but he's, he, he needs to say something as well. About like, oh, you don't mind if I put my hand on your knee, do you? Imagine you know, something like that. You know, something like that. You could rework that joke to really, really make it work for today's audiences. Why is he driving an articulated lorry on his honeymoon anyway? I know, what what is it? Look at, look at this. Curtains and... What is this? It's a fucking white van. Oh, it's a lorry. It's a lorry. <laughs> We're going to Glasgow. <laughs> Did they think about doing it in a normal motor? A, a camper van? Did they think about doing it in a normal motor? And then they went, in a normal motor, you kind of see, you know, you're like if we film it through the front window, but just see if, like for the chest stop. You wouldn't see that. You wouldn't see the hand on the knee. 
Jeg vet ikke si det han døde ni. Så det hadde til meg ikke å fucking kamp på vann. And and he's driving on a hurry. See Vince, what? I went fishing last night. Yeah. Yeah, at the Thames, you know. And I pulled in. Sorry. I went fishing last night at the Thames. Is that funny because you don't fish it? Because the Thames is a big minging river that you don't fish in. Is that why that was funny? Yeah, yeah, at the Thameses, you know. And I pulled in this 60-foot killer whale. 60-foot killer whale? Yeah. In the Thameses. In the Thameses. Yeah, well, I went fishing the other day. Did you? His is going to be bigger. The Thameses? In the Thameses. Guess what I pulled up? What? I pulled up this 16th century, right, lamp from a galleon, and the lamp was still lit. I don't believe you, Vince. No? No. Will you knock ten foot off that whale and I'll blow the lamp out? Fucking hell! Jesus Christ! Fucking non humour! Non comedy! That fucking hurts! That whale and I'll blow the lamp out. Got him error. That's what he gets for exaggerating that he managed to get a fish that big at the Thames. <laughs> fucking hell. This is like fucking prime time, by the way. This isn't like fucking uh, six o'clock on a Tuesday. This is like your Saturday night in. This is it. In fact, let's, let's fucking see when was this pish on Ross? Uh, oh fuck! By the way, oh shit! Oh wait, 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 wait. See Ross Abbott, by the way, and Les Dennis. I think they're magic. Uh, they were a part of my childhood, and I think they're fucking excellent. Everybody loved that Ross Abbott. I love Atmosphere by Ross Abbott. Um, Les Dennis been gone for years. Everybody loved the fucking. Uh, you know the I I love them right this is today with the writing what, and they wouldn't have wrote it right they're performers and they've got today things very very quickly um, you know get another show it that that week they haven't got the time to do the performing and do the guest appearances and then live shows and also write that they've not got the time so it'll be other people who are writing that so I love them and I hope they don't die Hugh Foster thinks he's sub. Nine months of quality entertainment, light entertainment, just like an 80s sitcom. Thank you very much. Uh, I keep I keep seeing recent vinyl pickups, jazz, punk, power, pop, blues. What you got there? Good fellas, what's that? And what's that one there? I don't know. Um, I uh, what's it? Les Dennis Mavis impression. You know that. This. I don't really know. He'd be doing an impression of a uh, huh. Right, go. Did they make it a song? Did they make it? Any, don't, go, I, I don't really know. I, I don't really know. Evening, evening. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, is there something amiss, Mrs. Oh, Wilton? Everything, Mr. Holtzworth. As you can see, I'm on my own. Rita's gone to get huh. his wedding, and Jason and Clint both are delivery boys. They haven't turned up, and of course, I can't leave. D fucking show me a clip of him saying, I don't really know. And 
tell you what that Mike Baldwin, you know, I think he's after me. Oh, you're joking, Vera. Hey, I'm not. He asked me... Who... Vera Duckworth. Who was that again? Vera Duckworth. Oh, ha! Of course! Right. See in this fucking clip, this one minute clip, because I was thinking, I was thinking about who was her, but like the kind of beehive. Who was that? Who was that with the beehive? Bet Lynch. Bet Lynch. Ah, there she is. There she is. There she is. No, it wasn't a beehive, wasn't it? No, it was a kind of... What was that? What would you call that? What would you call that? Buffon... No, no, it's no Buffon sort of... You sort of... Day something. This is kind of... It's got curl, curls and things. I think a Buffon is just sort of... Uh, adding sort of volume to it a wee bit. Thinning and Hugh Forster. Th thanks again. Thanks to subs. Right, you fuck it. Like, one minute on YouTube. Uh, Les Dennis, as Mavis, better say, I don't really know. That was the thing. I'll tell you what, that Mike Baldwin, you know, I think he's after me. Oh, you're joking, Vera. Hey, I'm not. He asked me to stay behind at work tonight. Really? Hey, I, I stopped as well. You see, it's really his trousers and oh. he wanted me to mend them. I don't really know. Yeah, so no sooner I'd amended them, he got them back on and he's made a lunge at me. Oh, Vera, what did you do? Hey. The scream, you could have heard it halfway down Coronation Street. Oh, well, I'm not surprised. I mean, I'd have screamed myself. Right, fucking say I don't really know. Hey, not me, kid. Um, <laughs> I left the pins in his trousers. <laughs> what did we do the other day, you Fuck know? right off. Oh, really? Hey, I, I was sat in my bath. I was just looking for myself on... You shut up and let me just no, fucking say something. His big fat face comes up at the window. Oh. Never. Hey, it did. What did you do? I says to him, I said, hey, Eddie, do you want to wash your leather out in my bath water? Oh, what did he say? Hey, oh, for what fuck's sake. He said, kid, he said he'd love to. I said, we'll get to the bottom of the drain pipe and pull it plug out. <laughs> Fuck right off. You, or somebody needs to do, know this clip for extras, or somebody needs to do is get a clip of Les Dennis as Mavis in like this. Saying I don't really know, and you've got a million views. That's all. That's all you need today. Les Dennis laughter show. You know that's a wee fucking push, I know, don't you? No, that I mean I like Les Dennis. I like Les Dennis, and I wish Les Dennis all the best. What is this man? Fuck is this? Les Dennis's laughter show. So this is like two years after that was happening. Hold on. Wait, like what? What? So this is two years after that Ross Abbott thing, which I've got to go back to, by the way. Go, say something. Thank you. Thank you, good evening. On you go, be dodgy. Be dodgy. Come on, 87. We've got a few years left, come on. Come on, we're right in the middle of it, go. I was watching the telly the other night, and, you know, nowadays, with so many award shows on, it made me think, imagine if they gave the right awards to the wrong people. <laughs> we, some people in the audience had to be laugh there because that's quite a funny thought, isn't it? What if they gave the right award to the wrong people? For example, Joe Dev thinks the sub, start my new job down in Stoke and Trent, you got anything to help me with the accent? 
I don't know. What was the Stoke and Trent accent? You know. I don't know what the accent is down there. Black country. What's that then? Out. Robbie Williams. I know he's for there, but I told you to get out. I don't know. I'll tell you what. You could fuck a duck. It's not black, it's not, right. Shrapnel, thanks for giving that sub. Tom. I was watching the telly the other night. Aye. You know, nowadays, with so many awards shows on, it made me think, imagine if they gave the right awards to the wrong people. <laughs> and the first award, Husband of the Year, goes to Dirty Den. <laughs> oh, we've got it there. Dirty Den for we have got an impression, everybody. Impression. Impression, everybody. What's the matter with you lot then, eh? What are you staring at? Haven't you got arms to go to? Come on, I've got a date tonight, all right? Yeah, well, I've always liked women. I remember on my wedding day, I was stood there next to Ange, and the vicar said, uh, do you take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife? I said, yeah, yeah, I do. The vicar said, I'll ask you again. <laughs> and then later on, Angie's father came up to me and said, well, uh, Are you going to be... The vicar said, I'll ask you again. <laughs> and then later on, Angie's father came up to me and said, well, uh, are you going to be a man and do it tonight or a mouse and do it tomorrow night? I said, I was a rat. I did it last night. <laughs> Kind gentlemen, please. Thank you very much. And our next award... See... See when he smiled after I I'll ask you again? What was that? Was that him doing a fake corpse and thing? Was that him doing a fake kind of... <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing at my joke because I know what's coming up. It's really funny. Or is it meant to be like him saying, I'll ask you again, are you sure? <laughs> are you sure you want to take care of your wife? Is it that? Or... Anyway. Woman of the Year goes to Scylla Black. Oh! <laughs> Pink and green, orange and purple and blue. I've been very ill lately. She's done all the colours. A face. Singing in the cavern, and a bloke from the back of the club threw a pint glass, and he hit this bloke who was sat at the front row on the side of the head. He turned round and said, "Can you throw another one at me? I can still hear her." <laughs> <laughs> She's shy, isn't yeah, she? Super. <laughs> What a lovely dart, hey, smashing. <laughs> Super great, smashing, great. Which camera are we on? This one, no, we're over here, great, smashing. Hey, and what a lovely award, Jim Bowen, Sportsman of the Year, smashing, great. Now then. Fucking classic. See, when you're doing impressions, the classic is to say who you're, in case cunts are like The fuck's this, maybe? Yeah, super smashing, great, super smashing, great. It's Jim Bowen here. Hey! So we're smashing greats. Jim Bowen here from Bullseye. Eee. Are you alright, Chuck? Silver Black here. From Surprise, Surprise and Blind Date. You know. You've had two darts and you've scored six. Right, so you did that, right? All right, so... All hours, Mr. Arkwright. Uh, what is her surprise? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a bit... Herp, 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 put out. Well, <laughs> You're doing really well. I, 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 I like Les Dennis, by the way. <laughs> and he was crying his eyes out. On, I, man, you know, I went into Burton's the other day and I said to the bloke, I said, show me the cheapest suit in the shop. He said, you're wearing it. <laughs> Who's that, Bob Geldof? <laughs> but this award is not only for me, it's for all my fans as well. A girl fan came up to me the other day and she said, if I covered myself in vanilla ice cream, chocolate sauce, and chopped hazelnuts, would you lick it off? I said, no. She said, tell me why. I don't like Sundays. <laughs> it is. It's Bob Geldof. That's our boomtown rats. Bro, it. Hello, and welcome to Children's BBC. Good. Right. Really good. And good stuff. Uh, 
really terrific. Good skin, make fine canoe. You want last request? Well, Russell, that's quite true. In fact, I only care for three. Gene oh, get Kelly. this fucking off. I love Scottish people. They get up in the morning. Look. Yes. At See this cunt. I remember he was like a kind of Joe Pasquale type, and I watched him. I watched a YouTube video kind of recently. I don't know if it, like he's all older now. It's like pure smut all the way now. It's all smut all the way. I always thought he was like a kind of children sort of no children's family. But it's all pure. It's all smut now. It's all about fucking cocks and fannies and fucking jagging and things like that. But it's, it's all done in this verse. It's kind of a bit like this. Yeah. You can get lost. We're not making porridge for two. <laughs> <laughs> no, he does that. Up in the morning, look under the bed, see if they lost any sleep. <laughs> won't give a door a bang. Did you hear about the Scottish couple staying in a hotel bed and breakfast? And she died in the night, and he rang down and cancelled the breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? Did you hear that all right? Because we like to save money. We like to save money. <laughs> My next door neighbour's Scottish. He keeps accusing me of picking the lock on his dustbin. <laughs> <laughs> he gets his cigarettes out of his pocket already lit. <laughs> <laughs> Is that time? <laughs> <laughs> a padlock on his dustbin. My next door neighbour's Scottish. He keeps accusing me of picking the lock on his dustbin. <laughs> he gets his cigarettes out of it. So what? What are you saying that? Are you saying that Scottish people have got locks on their bins because we're so miserly? What we don't want people taking stuff out of bin. I don't get it. Pinching his literal rubbish. Like, we're so miserly, we don't even want you taking our, uh, like, rubbish. People, they actually have locks in the fucking bins, by the way. But that's, that's beside the point. His pocket already lit. <laughs> Is that what, 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 what? He gets his cigarettes out of his pocket already lit. <laughs> Is that tight he only breathes in? <laughs> <laughs> He's that tight he only breathes in. Ready lit. <laughs> what do you mean he gets the... What do you mean... <laughs> what do you mean he gets the... We have locks... No, no, I think... I think it's actually businesses. It's mainly businesses that have like locks on their bins. Because cunts might go by and just open up their bin and chuck a lot of shit in. So they might have like locks on it. No, no. Residential place, don't really. Mark, thanks for three quid. A pal of mine pronounced the passion word as the pet... The pitch, the pitch mod, and I scolded him for it with my basic knowledge of the band, which all came for the stream. Thanks for a tangent. You're welcome. Trips back to years before my time. You're welcome. Jump the chasm, thanks for sub. You're welcome to the torrent of banter and memes. Is that tight? He only breathes in. <laughs> Did you read in the paper today that Esther Ramson's just been kidnapped? No, back to the fucking Scots. She keeps accusing me of picking the lock on his dustbin. <laughs> he gets his cigarettes out of his pocket already lit. He gets his cigarettes out of his pocket already lit. How is that? Oh, ah, oh wait, no. Is it to do with the pockets being so tight? That it's, no, that's not it. I think he means he puts his lit cigarette in his pocket to save money on lighters. Oh, like, so he kind of puts it away. It was lit for before. The friction in his pockets. that That's too high, bro. That takes too many intellectual fucking leaps to get to that. I don't think he'll mean that. It's, you know, you're looking at a master here. You're looking at a master here. He only breathes in. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, so, um, in case you don't know, we, we Scots are known for being very, very miserly, very tight. Um, oh, yes. We step out of the line, cross the border, you settle, you settle here. You, you, you choose to live here. You too will become like that. 
Scrooge McDuck. Scrooge McDuck. It's no tight. It's no tight. No good. It is F R U G A L. Frugal. Frugal. Sparing or economical as regards money or food. It's frugal. 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 There you are. Anyway, let's get on to something very important, which was back to here. Um, this fucking shit. Hold on. We've got a Glasgow. <laughs> hey, Vince. What? I went fishing last night. Yeah? Yeah, at the Thames, you know. And I pulled in... See this? 60-foot killer whale. 60-foot <laughs> killer whale? Yeah. In the Thames. In the Thames. <laughs> yeah, well, I went fishing the other day. Did you? In the Thames. In the Thames. <laughs> what? Are they trying to do some sort of... Oh, 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 we're nearly making each other laugh. Aren't they? They're trying to do a wee kind of... Oh, 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 oh. It's funny because we're kind of nearly making each other laugh. Timsy. Hey, Timsy. Paul, I went fishing the other day. Did you? In the Timsies. In the Timsies. <laughs> oh, 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 he nearly made them laugh there. <laughs> you can imagine all the dads watching that, saying that shite. I pulled up this 16th century, right, lamp from a galleon, and the lamp was still lit. Awful. <laughs> I don't believe you, Vince. No? No. Will you knock ten foot off that whale and I'll blow the lamp out? Awful. 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 And this is within the first two minutes. Now, these are sketches. This didn't have to be done... It didn't have to be in that order. You pick your... You pick the best sketches. You pick the ones you think are going to grab people the most or whatever. And you stick them up the front. That's like their best... That's like, we need that one to grab them, get them, don't, 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 don't switch here, don't, don't, don't change the channel, don't do it, this is good, right, once you get them in, um, you see, in, in case you don't get the joke here, he's saying, oh, I was fishing in the Thames and I, I managed to get a 50 foot killer whale, which is a lie, so he's saying, oh, well I managed to pull up a, whatever it was, 16th century, a uh, little lamp for a, a galleon, and it was still lit. He says, I don't believe you. And which, because it obviously is unbelievable, he's making that up deliberately for the purposes of what's to come. And he says, I don't believe you. And he says, well, I'll tell you what, you knock 40 foot off, 10 foot off of that whale, um, and I'll switch the lamp off, as in you make your mere believable, and I'll make mine believable, because they're both talking. All right, now we've got a now we've got a long sketch. That's long form. Surprise, surprise! The unexpected. Silla Black again. Water earlier today. I am about to conquer the world. Con Fucking Silla Black constant. Wait a minute. No, I'm not going to. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Meeting in Zurich today. See her. See her. Is that her? Who's in the FMV that I played? The After spy satellite pictures revealed is that her? for foreign missiles. Is that her and this in the um who muted Uncle Marcus or something? Or is it in space? General Zod, rebel leader of planet Krypton, told our reporter She'll be in a wee bit later. You're not She'll be in a wee bit later. Take out the long names. Walk in your British way. You could use me. There it is. <laughs> Huh? That isn't it. How'd you recognise her? I've got a fucking what? Brain? Uh, I think it was blackface. I. It's eighty-five. That is. It's not though. Delighted with it. And if. Is it no? Is it no? That's her. 
It absolutely is. Ross Abbott's Summer Madhouse. I'm saying it is. It is. It's the voice. Of Mel Anderson. Is it Ross Abbott's Summer Madhouse? Right, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, who pressed mute on Uncle Marcus? Right? And who I'm talking about is... Where is she? What's this she? Show me everybody, please. Next, next, next. Ha! Huh. Was that her? That's her. Nope. You really don't think so? Are you sure? Are you sure? I think I'm fucking right. I think I'm right. Right, um, what was she in? What was she in? Was she knowing that absolutely fabulous or something? I think it's the same person. Black Adder, that's right. Oh, that may have been... No. She was a bit young in Black Adder. Maybe. Fuck. Black Adder, what's her name? Susie Blake? Susie... Uh, Susie Blake... Right. All right. Right. Born in nineteen fifty. So, meaning, so her. No, no, no. Oh shit! No, that's her there. That's her. No her. That's her. I'm getting mixed up. I'm getting mixed up. That's her. She's been in like Coronation Street and. Oh for fuck's sake. Jesus Christ. How am I get how am I getting them mixed up? Is it just because they've got can blonde hair? That, or, it's a voice. It's the fucking voice. Do they even look similar? I can't even tell. I've lost a part of my brain that can tell that can, that It's the same person. No, I don't mean her and her. Yous are saying that's the same, that's her. Yous are saying that's her. I'm talking about the other one. Gabriel Glaster, right? Gabriel. Let me see. Let me see. Gabriel. Like, are they alike? That nothing I like there. Nothing I like there. Is there is there any similarity, or have I fucking lost the plot? Is there any similarity? Let, let me see. Uh, can a young gun maybe? Is there any similarity? Is there any similarity? Anything at all. <laughs> Nothing. There's got to be something. I can see it. My mind's eye. It's no happening, is it? It's no happening. It's no happening. It's no happening. No, I can't make it happen. There, there's some people there, there's some people I say they that, that person looks like that person and people like that don't know what you're talking about and I'm like I think I see something you don't I think I see a geometry that you don't distance eyes apart to the nose to the mouth to the chin to the uh, to the ears I see a kind of like a da Vinci Sort of that. You just see um, 
because their eyebrows are a bit bushier than the other person. Nothing like them at all. It's called madness. 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 Fucking hell, man. I mean, look it up. So that was, I'm not going to show you, but that was fucking blackface and, um, what's that? 85. 85. Madness. Mad. Oh, 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 oh. You say you've seen the best. You ain't seen nothing yet. Tonight we'll have you. That's it. Don't, don't, don't knock at yourself. Don't get a sprain or anything like that. Listen to the kind of, they collapsed. This needs to come back unironically. How how many year, how long do you think it would take for this to come back in unironically? Unironically. Do you think it t would take four generations or something? Ten generations. Unironically, it would take a complete wiping out over the course of say ten generations, like two hundred years or something, isn't it? Like, people wear that, and they don't wear it because it's a bit of a joke. It would take a complete brain wipe by everybody on the earth, wouldn't it? What the fuck was after atmosphere? Take some of that fucking hair for the chest. I could have Right, everybody, here's a wee quiz. Nay cheating. Nay cheating. Is he older than me? What age are you? I'm 47. I think he's... Fuck me, man. 44, you think? I'm going to say fucking 40. I'm going to say 40. I'm just going to say 40. 40. Right. Uh, June 85. Here we go. Right. June 85. Russ Abbott. There he is there. 85, 40. He was fucking 38. Is that right? 19 June. 1947 he was born. Making it 30, making it 37. He was yet to turn 38 that year. He was 37. What? That's not him, is it? Is he one of these kind of... The Russ Abbott rants at BBC for acts in his sitcom Boomers, as they did with Last of the Summer Wine. But he didn't fucking rant. But he didn't rant. But he just went like that. Oh, I don't think they should have axed it. 
That says runt. I need it to be in quotes. It needs to be in... You can say... F you can... You can fume. You can type the word fume all you want. Mirror. But we need to see it. Show. Don't tell. Can I just say he fumed? How did he fume? Look at this, look. Everybody place your fucking... So he was... Let's see that again. 37, everybody. 37. Thirty seven. Thirty seven. So come on down and let See if his eyebrows were trimmed slightly. Um dyed his hair. He's I don't think it was a wig, I think he was he might have been a wig, but I don't think it is a wig. I think it's a kind of bit of a sweep. He never he always appeared, you know, his hair was a bit kind of, uh, like, thinning on top. He never he never got a wig, I don't think. I mean, look. Atmosphere, Ross Abbott. 1984, the year before. That's the that's a fucking year before! So this is some, this is some 36 then. That's not too bad, that's a Right. The happy atmosphere. So this is some 36. And you're out there having fun. Maybe it's and your girl is there. It's what he's wearing. You. And you feel like number one. 36. So get your I'm 36, no way. Yep. Cause tonight has just begun. Oh. That's me. That's me if I went to a club these days. That was me in Ibiza last time I was there. Um, last time I was in a club. And that was, that's when I was fucking... Uh, when was that? That was when I was his age. Last time I, I think I took an Eki, I was his age. And I was in a... Uh, well, the night, the, the week before at my second last Eki was in Ibiza. And that's how I felt in the club. Wait a minute, he, 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 he's a, he does a Frankie Goes to Hollywood relax thing. We can make it last forever. And Frankie's got your favourite records. And Frankie's got his band. Oh, let go. Oh. Relax by Frankie Goes to Hollywood had come out in that year, I believe. Let it show. Oh. Which is, in case you don't know, it's about... No, no coming. Sexually, no, no coming when you, when you want to. Number one for me. I've said this before on the stream, but honestly, this is something that needs to come back. That's a fantastic song to sing sarcastically in a place that's got a, there's a bad atmosphere. I've been doing it for years. Every cunt's been doing it for years. Every cunt my age has been doing it for years. So if you're in a place and I'm actually being dragged along somewhere, I don't want to go. I think it'll be shite. You're coming. It'll be all right. And then you get there and you sort of sit down and just like nobody's talking. And then they go away to the bar or something like that. Oh, what an atmosphere. I love a oh, Shut up. When they wanna. You see it? This is it. This is it. Brilliant song to sing sarcastically. So this is it. I believe he was 22 there. 22. Wait! Oh, he's died. The death of the entertainer. Who's the 
Riesen von denen an. Hey, right, right. That's Susie Blake. Written by, here we go. Russell Lane, Colin Bostock Smith, Paul Minnett, and Brian Leaveson. Well done, yous. That joke about the fucking um, killer whale. Brilliant. Well done. Well done. Oh, additional material by Bobby Bragg and Andrew O'Connor. Oh, I wonder who came up with that one. I want to give them work. What's that? Musical numbers staged by Tudor Davies. Tudor Davies. That's, that's her first name. Tudor Davies. A Welsh tenor. Oh, died in 1958. Was a good guy. Producer. Last thing we've got here is 1989, 1993. Um, it's not looking good. We'll we'll just we'll we'll step away. We'll step away, right? Medeku thinks it's up. Two deers dealing with your shit. I'm sorry to leave you hoovering up all the shit that I leave behind. I'm sorry. Thanks for cleaning up my life after me. Palpatine Dreams thinks the sub. 